World War II. Uh, the narrative of World War II uh, has, uh, is, is very known to us. It has, uh, let's see if I can manage. Yeah, it has a bad guy that is uh, perfect in his role. Uh, it has victims that are rare in their extreme innocence. And therefore, the uh, uh, role of the uh, hero is also quite ideal. Uh, and uh, how much fiction and science and lectures that have been produced in, in correlation with these three aspects of World War II is hard to estimate. But I content myself with stating that um, World War II is like a historic uterus that daily gives birth to myths uh, where we as growing individu ind individuals examine our feelings of right and wrong. But when you uh, connect Sweden, Sweden to uh, this narrative, uh, something, something's become problematic. When I say that I write a novel uh, loosely based on events uh, during World War II in Sweden, people ask me, what aspects of uh, Sweden's dealing with the Nazi Germany are you treating? And I had to confuse everybody by saying, well, none. I'm uh, looking at something totally different. Uh, and of course we're confused and we, uh, we don't know what, what this picture means, for example. Uh, and, uh, and maybe we're trying to understand it, understand it by the, the, the filter, good or bad guys. I'll return to this picture. Uh, during uh, the war, the uh, Swedish Communist Party was uh, very unpopular in, in Sweden because it supported Stalin. And whatever Stalin did, it was for world peace, the communists in Sweden said. And they even renamed Eastern Poland when Russian tanks went in there uh, in uh, September uh, 39. Uh, they rap rapidly became Western Ukraine and, and Western Belarus. Uh, and when uh, Stalin invaded Finland, it was uh, in order to give Finns real democracy there. Uh, so this created a uh, huge... Uh, upsetment in, in, in Sweden and people condemned the communists and called them harsh words like uh, scumbags or, or uh, uh, horrible wretches and one leading social democrat in the parliament called them, called them uh, a human variety of mollusks that the world had never seen before. Um, and uh, the question was raised whether or not uh, communists deserve the same equal rights, uh, the same rights as other citizens and some people even went further. So, um, there existed a secret security service in Sweden during this, these years, and the security service um, <coughs> uh, was uh, dealing with registration of opinions. And uh, maybe I was too quick with that thing, let's see if I, yeah. Uh, they were dealing with registration of opinions and by 1944, this secret uh, security service that was not known to the parliament even, uh, had registered some 80,000 uh, people in Sweden, 1.3% of the population. Uh, most of their focus was on communists, and, uh, but the criteria were quite, were quite hazy, as you can see here. Uh, many people would end up in the registry even though they had never voted for the communist party. The military had, uh, uh, had free access to this registry and started to collect people, men that were suitable for military service. And uh, under the pretext that these men were drafted into the army, they were placed in uh, work camps. Uh, and uh, these are some of the uh, 600 men that were placed in work camps during the war. Uh, and the military uniform helped hide the fact that they uh, had been put there uh, because of political reasons. Uh, naturally, they never uh, got to uh, wear, uh, carry arms, and they were guarded by their, their armed officers. Uh, outside, uh, this was an, uh, an attempt of the military to cleanse society from, from uh, uh, the communist threat. Um, outside, uh, in Sweden, the, war, the wars against communist, uh, communism continued, and um, uh, the the security service uh, conducted a, a nationwide raid where nearly a thousand people were, were questioned and arrested. Um, 
And, uh, <coughs> oh yes, we'll wait for that. And uh, uh, this added to a growing concern in the camps that the military had, had put the, the men there in order to execute them. And um, uh, by the beginning of March 1940, uh, some things happened that, that, uh, that m raised these suspicions up to a level of, of, of panic in the camps. Because this is a picture of, of the ruins of uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the house where the communist newspaper Norgens Flamma was situated. It was, uh, it, it was destroyed in an explosion uh, when uh, 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 communists, uh, uh, anti-communists had placed a bomb there, killing five people who lived in the building, including the wife and 12-year-old son of one of the men, Valdemar Granberg, who was sitting in uh, the the uh, work camp of Sturzien at the same time. <sighs> well, let's see. Um, this this story is pretty complicated, right? There's no hero. Uh, there's no. Uh, there are no Nazis involved in this story, and um, uh, the victims. There's also a, a shadow cast over the victims still today because of the Communist Party's uh, loyal support of Stalin's invasions of Poland and Finland. And um, <coughs> some people therefore argue that, uh, that this story is not, not remarkable. I mean, when compared to the big narrative of World War II, uh, it seems pretty insignificant. And maybe when the details are, are so diffuse, as in this story, it's, it's easy to, to agree. But wouldn't you also agree that the rancorous um, atmosphere in Sweden during the war uh, and, and the story of the registry of, of the secret secur security service and uh, the, the military work camps all add up to, uh, to uh, a story that, that, is, uh, uh, that, that can provide us with needful, needful experience uh, in order to understand the uh, violation, the structural vi violations that were going on during the war, uh, not only here but, but globally, and, and uh, that continue to go on in our society today. Uh, I, for one, believe that uh, uh, by looking at the small and near perspective, uh, we can learn quite a lot about also the, the larger and more distant perspective. And by the way, isn't the most remarkable about all this that we never talk about this story.